Hey everybody, Ash here with Gent Sense, and today I'm going to be talking to you about Scentbird, everybody's favorite uh, fragrance subscription service. So for those of you that are unaware, Scentbird is a service that you can pay $14.95 per month for, and they send you an 8 milliliter decant inside of a metal tube. So I've got a number of these, they're little metal tubes that the 8 milliliter decant sits inside of. Twist like that and you can spray it, or pull it out and switch it with a new one. So that's what you get when you sign up for uh, Scentbird. You get one of those, and then each month for $14.95, you get a new little 8 milliliter decant. But I'm not here to sell you Scentbird today. I am actually here to tell you why I think Scentbird sucks. So let's go ahead and jump into this, and I'll go over why I don't really like Scentbird. So I'm pretty sure every single one of you out there has seen at least one Scentbird ad, whether on YouTube or Facebook, and you've probably seen over 15 of them, realistically. Scentbird really got themselves out there with very aggressive marketing on YouTube with influencers. I even did a video for them a really long time ago. And I'll go ahead and leave that video up just for posterity's sake. Basically, if you have had a YouTube channel for any amount of time that deals with fragrances, makeup, beauty, grooming, style, any of the above, sometimes even stuff that has nothing to do with fragrance like gaming, Scentbird has reached out to you. And I mean, I do get very stupid sponsorship requests sometimes. Home Chef has been emailing me nonstop for the past month asking me to do a Home Chef video. I've had people ask me to do uh, watch videos, jewelry videos, glasses videos, uh, whiskey stone videos, just random crap. But Scentbird really takes the cake. They have emailed me for the past probably year asking me to do another Scentbird video. They've offered to send me a couple of their fragrances in the little 8 mil decants, like I care. And they upped the ante here recently uh, by offering me $100 plus some of their decants, or travel atomizers, whatever you want to call them. And instead of negotiating with them and trying to get a higher price, or taking the $100 or whatever, I decided I would rather just make a video where I tell people what I really think about Scentbird instead of making a fake video where I hype them. And this is not a video made to crap on the smaller channels that make videos for Scentbird or sponsored by Scentbird. I understand what it's like to have a small channel and to finally be recognized by literally anybody. It's really exciting, so it's not really a surprise that a lot of those smaller channels do jump at the chance to work with Scentbird. So this video is nothing against them. So if you search for Scentbird or Scentbird reviews on YouTube, most of those videos follow a pretty similar blueprint. It's usually some variation of Scentbird, is it worth it? Uh, 10 things I couldn't live without, featuring Scentbird. Uh, some variation of how to smell good or why your fragrance doesn't smell great. Uh, or the ever popular Scentbird, an unbiased review, sponsored by Scentbird. And the reason a lot of those videos follow a similar pattern is because Scentbird actually sends out talking points to influencers when they make a video. So they send out uh, a sheet, basically, that tells the influencer, this is what you're going to make since we sent you a couple fragrances and maybe a hundred bucks, or maybe 200 bucks, who knows? And those talking points are great because in essence, you're just shooting uh, a Scentbird commercial for them where they sent you something that probably cost them $5 in terms of the fragrance and shipping, and, th and they get a free commercial out of it because you're just reading off exactly what they want you to, just maybe putting your own tiny twist on it. Uh, this is one of the actual talking point sheets that they like to send out to people. You got those great talking points. Smelling great is always a top priority. It's a powerful way to feel more confident and attractive in no time. Fall is coming, so you'll need to step up your A-game if you want to smell great all season long. Stocking up on colognes can be expensive. You don't want to risk shelling out all that cash only to get stuck with the scent you get sick of. There's a better solution, guys. Try Scentbird, a subscription service that lets you choose a new cologne every month for just $14.95. So yeah, if some of this stuff sounds familiar from some of the videos that you may have watched from Scentbird, uh, this is the reason why. I also really like how they have YouTube guidelines for the videos. Must be first or second mention. Link in the description above the fold with coupon code and link fragrances mentioned. No travel, too limited use. No what's in my bag. Mention is too brief and gets lost. No unrelated favorites, like hygiene favorites, etc., because it doesn't convert. And they've also got some great video concepts there for you that you can use in your commercial for Scentbird. <laughs> 
Mm. So let's go ahead and break Semper down a little bit here. First, we'll start with the price. So the price they charge you, again, $15 per month. It's not like that's a super expensive subscription service or anything. You get eight milliliters of fragrance each month for that amount. So that works out to $1.87 per milliliter. That's in essence what you're paying. Now you would probably think that's a pretty good deal. You know, $15, again, not all that much. But when you factor out the cost versus the value of what you're getting, it's a piss poor deal, at least for pretty much everything on their website. Really, price-wise, the only thing that makes a whole lot of sense are some of the niche fragrances they carry, which really they don't carry that many. As of this video, they have four Amouage, so those would be a decent deal at $14.95 slash $15 per month. Uh, they have Carner Barcelona, that would be an okay deal. They also have an Arquiste fragrance, that would be an okay deal. But most of the people that use this service don't know about niche fragrances, so they're probably not getting Amouage, they're probably not getting Carner Barcelona, not getting Arquiste, and honestly, they probably don't want it. From almost everything that I read from people that use this service, they're usually getting stuff like Burberry, Versace, Gucci, stuff like that. And, and those are pretty much piss poor deals all the way around. So let's go over some of the pricing just per milliliter really quickly. And I'm looking at the men's fragrances here. If you're looking at women's fragrances, you can do this on your own. Just go to FragranceNet or some other website that sells discounted fragrances and do some contrasting and comparing. Okay, Versace Eros, as of this video on FragranceNet, 100 milliliter bottle, $50.39. That's about 50 cents per milliliter. And that's one of the more expensive fragrances they have in terms of designers on their website. So with that one, you're paying uh, about three and a half times per milliliter for the scent bird than you would for the bottle. And if you get a tester, it's $44.72, about 45 cents per milliliter. And that's not even touching on some of the fragrances that are best sellers that are actually super, super cheap. Stuff like Ferragamo F Black, which you can pick up a full 100 milliliter bottle for about $24. So 24 cents per milliliter. Or if you don't want a 100 mil, you can pick up a 50 mil, which is 1.7 ounces, for $17. $2 more than your monthly subscription, and you can have a full bottle. Or a fragrance like Burberry Brit, $30.86 for a 100 mil, about 31 cents per milliliter. Or you can pick up a tester, same size, for 24 bucks. Or one of their new releases that they have, English Laundry London, which is on their website right now, is uh, like I said, a new arrival. You can buy that for $22.47 for a full bottle, 100 milliliters, 3.4 ounces, for $22.47, about 22 cents per milliliter. So when you really break it down, it's not that great of a deal. Like I said, it's actually a piss poor deal. Unless you're looking at the niche fragrances like Amouage. Amouage Reflection, you can buy a full bottle on FragranceNet for $146.24. That's $1.46 per milliliter. So that gets you closer to uh, how much you're actually paying. Uh, it's still less per milliliter than Scentbird is, but at least it's in the same ballpark. Now a lot of you right now are gonna say, oh, but I like the lipstick atomizer that it comes in because it's easy to carry around. That's fair enough, uh, I guess, but the lipstick atomizer really isn't that big of a deal. You can pick those up for about a quarter from China. If you do some looking, you can find those all over websites in China. Uh, it's not really like it's super high quality. And honestly, these atomizers kind of suck. They're really not that good. They give out a little puff of fragrance. Yeah, you see? I'm assuming you can see that. The atomizer is low quality. Another thing that happens all the time with these, uh, at least 40% of the time, at least from the ones that they sent me for review back in the day, and I did actually check with somebody that has a scent bird now, and they confirmed, still the same way, is the, uh, the decant will get stuck inside this tube all the time. A lot of these are faulty, and again, that's because these are just really cheap things pumped out in China. So what will happen is, uh, you know, it'll twist and open and close like so, but when you try to pull it out, this happens. Oh, and that happens all the time with these. When you go to pull the uh, decant out, the top just comes off. And then you have to try to really work the decant, uh, the little glass tube inside, to pull it out. And sometimes it's just damn near impossible. You can't get it out no matter what you do. They're just stuck in there permanently. Yeah. Can you, I don't know if you, I don't know how well that shows up, but yeah, you can see the little uh, atomizer down in there. You pop it back on, give it a spray so it's on there nice and tight. Try to pull it off. Oh. So the atomizers themselves are just crap quality. 
It's not like you're paying for something that's you know, top of the line. You know what's a better idea than paying $15 for these every single month? Going to your local Sephora and getting six milliliters of fragrance for free anytime you want. That works at any Sephora, including Sephora inside JCPenney. You can go in any of the fragrances that they have. You can ask the people that work there, hey, can I get some samples of these? And they'll make you up samples right there on the spot. Up to three each time you go. So if you're on the fence about something, you wanna give it some wares before you uh, commit to a full bottle, go to Sephora and do that. Or go to Nordstrom, where they have those same uh, plastic sample sprays as Sephora, but they just have them laid out where you can take them and make your own samples of whatever you want in there, including more expensive niche fragrances. So if you have a Nordstrom nearby, just do that. Save yourself some money. And honestly, get better fragrances at the same time. Or really, just go to about any reputable place that carries fragrances and ask them for a carded sample of something if they don't have the uh, little sample sprays like Sephora and Nordstrom. Just tell them you're wanting to give a fragrance multiple wears before you commit to a bottle. Or another thing you could do, go to Max Aroma. They have the exact same eight milliliter lipstick atomizers for tons of fragrances on their website underneath the pocket perfume section for less money than Scentbird. So it's the exact same product, only for less and with a better selection. Or try out some fragrances in stores, give it a wearing on your skin and decide whether you like it or not. If you do, save up just a tiny bit more money, buy a full bottle off the internet then you have something that's actually going to last that you didn't get ripped off on. I mean, hell, buy your own decant bottles off of eBay. They have five milliliter and 10 milliliter empty bottles. Buy those and make your own travel sprays if it's that important. And honestly, their selection is not that good. I know that in their talking points, it says they have 450 perfumes and colognes to choose from, but most of those aren't that good. Or they are good, but they're really, really, really cheap if you would just buy the bottle yourself, so you're losing there too because you're paying five to eight times what it's actually worth. I mean, take a look at their website and see what they don't have. There's no Christian Dior. There's no Creed. Their Amois selection is really small. Their Tom Ford selection is almost non-existent. They don't have Armani. They don't have Jean-Paul Gaultier. They don't really have too much of anything as far as nice indie fragrances go. They don't have Guerlain. They don't have Ralph Lauren. I mean, really, when you start going down and breaking down what they don't have compared to what they do, a lot of stuff that you're going to want is not gonna be there. Most of the stuff that they have is sticking with those cheaper houses. Uh, again, this is no offense to them because some of the fragrances are really, really nice, but stuff like uh, Burberry, John Barbados, uh, Tommy Bahama, Vince Camuto, stuff like that. And some of these fragrances are just completely random. They have a house called Confessions of a Rebel, which sounds kind of neat, but if you go to their website, both of their fragrances show sold out and both say, sample this on Scentbird with a link to Scentbird. There's no information on these fragrances at all online. There's nothing on Fragrantica. There's really nothing at all except for that website and Scentbird. So for all I know, these are fragrances that Scentbird is behind themselves. But maybe despite all this, you still would like to give Scentbird a try. You should also know that Scentbird has an F rating from the Better Business Bureau. Just straight up F. And if you go to the triple B and you look up Scentbird, they actually have a warning on their site pertaining to Scentbird. Which says this, Better Business Bureau files indicate a pattern of complaints concerning delivery fulfillment and customer service issues for Scentbird, Inc. Consumers are telling Better Business Bureau about problems they encounter after claiming a free trial offer or purchasing a subscription to a monthly supply of fragrances for $14.95 a month. Many consumers claim they still haven't received the merchandise from the company even though weeks have passed since the order was placed. Numerous consumers reportedly encounter a lot of difficulty getting a response from the company about the status of their orders, despite multiple attempts to reach them by email and Facebook. Several consumers that are able to interact with company representatives claim they are told that there were errors with the shipment and their items would be soon sent out to them. Consumers also report difficulty in canceling the monthly subscription fees, as well as obtaining a refund of these charges from the company. In the last 12 months, Scentbird has 446 complaints against them on the Better Business Bureau. Uh, there are people complaining about being charged and never being sent anything, people being double charged, orders coming months late, orders coming with things missing that people have already paid for. And this happens with crazy regularity to the point that some people online consider Scentbird just be a straight up scam. Their customer service is basically non-existent unless you threaten them and then you may get a response. Checking on their website, there's no phone number to reach them at, and you have to just go to a contact us form, fill it in, and then send it off and hope that somebody will actually respond to you. 
Usually though, they'll just ignore you. The reviews from unbiased sites on Scentbird are almost universally horrible. And Scentbird does do a good job of having a lot of fake reviews pop up on websites like Influencer that tries to make them look much better than they actually are, which is a common tactic of companies that have crap customer service. And some of you out there may be subscribed to Scentbird right now, and you may not have had to deal with any of this yet, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. As an example, there are people that smoke every single day for their entire life and never get cancer. But that doesn't mean that there aren't tons of people out there who smoked and did get cancer. If you've got Scentbird right now, you're playing with fire. All these other people have already been burned. You could be next. So yeah, my opinion on Scentbird, don't use them. Don't sign up for their free trial. Don't do it. Their customer service sucks. You're gonna be paying $15 for eight milliliters of fragrance and a really crappy atomizer from China. And really you could pay with some of these fragrances $2 more and get a full bottle. On average, you're being charged about five to eight times the actual value of the cost per milliliter in comparison to how much you could buy it online. You also run the risk of being charged for something and never having it arrive, being double charged, or having things be delayed for months with no explanation. All the influencers you see hyping Scentbird will never have to deal with any of those bullshit problems that I just talked about, but you might. Influencers are getting cash and recognition in order to sell this to you using a sheet that Scentbird provides them. So anytime you see one of those unbiased reviews where they talk about how awesome it is, remember that you're watching a commercial. Scentbird sucks, it's trash, I'll never use it, and realistically, none of the influencers that hype this would use it either. I mean, if it weren't for the cash. So that is my take on Scentbird. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys again next time.